In Tableau 2020.1, Tableau have added the much requested ability to add dynamic parameters to your dashboard. This is a much, much, much asked for feature uh, for the last, I don't know, five years of Tableau. So let's, stuck, let's get stuck in and see how this feature is implemented. In order to show you this, I've actually got two workbooks open. I've got one in 2019.4 and another one in 2020.1. But first, I'm going to start in 2019.4 just to show you how the old behavior works. Um, what you can do in any Tableau workbook is you can essentially add a parameter to the dashboard. And if I show you this one here, if I click edit, you'll see that I've actually got a string parameter which has been preloaded with the values from my segment field. If I clear these options and I add from field, you can see exactly how this is done. Uh, and it simply just adds all the values from that field. Now, one of the big problems has always been that now once you've done this, when you open the workbook again, let's say the data has been updated, these values haven't updated. And so what you've had to do is either get someone to go in and manually update this field or rely on a filter to do the same thing. And so if I click OK here and we actually go and update the data source, let's go to this Excel file, which is what we're connected to. Let's change this top value to new corporate and we'll maybe just change the date to 2020. Let's do that here. Uh, let's hit save. And then if we go to the file where this uh, particular data source is held, what I need to do is overwrite this file over here. So I'm just simply going to, first I need to close it before I move it, otherwise the computer will complain. And then I just need to drag this file over here and that will have the ability Ability to basically simulate us updating the data source. Okay, now if I go back to Tableau and I right click refresh this data source, yeah, you'll see a couple of things happen. Um, first of all, nothing will change. But if I go into this order date field, you'll see that the maximum value has actually updated here. So I need to come in here and hit max on that. And then you can see my new corporate column over here. So we know the column has made it, the row has made it into the data set, but our parameter hasn't updated. And so what I have to do manually is I have to go back into my parameter, edit that, add from field, select segment. And this time you'll see that new corporate makes it in. The reason I'm getting these red items is because I've already got some fields previously. So if I clear all and do that again, hit segment, you'll see that the new item makes it into my data set. And now I'm actually able to see that in the filter. Now, if we go to 2020.1, this behavior works in a slightly different way. The first thing to bear in mind is that there's actually a new interface for parameters here, and it uses this notation over here. So let's just clear this so I can show you how to set this up. Um, we're gonna call this parameter segment. It's going to be text-based, so we'll choose string. Um, I'm gonna leave it selected on the current value, and in order to load up this list, I'm gonna select fixed, add from values, and then select segment from that list, okay? And so you'll see here I get these three items. Now, this is a little bit tricky because what you now have to do is switch this uh, interface over here to the next option. And you have to tell Tableau that when the workbook opens, you wanted to update this list using values from the segment column. And so if you click OK, that's now applied. And so if I go on this list, you'll see here consumer, corporate and home office. But now when I update the workbook, notice that this is an extract. So all I now need to do is refresh the extract and this will wholesale change the data. The workbook will, up, will update and you'll see here that the date uh, filter changes. So if I expand that, you'll see that I get my new uh, segment. But the key thing here is this parameter. Now, what I have to do is I have to close the workbook and open it again for it to appear. So let's close this workbook. Tableau will ask me if I want to save it, so I will. And what I've done is I've saved this workbook on my desktop. Now, the reason you have to do this as an author is because fundamentally, when the workbook is opened and closed on Tableau server, it's essentially the same as someone just visiting the workbook. So let's go over to our desktop. 
and let's open the 2020.1 version. So let's open that up. Okay, so now you can see here the workbook has opened again, but now if I go to my parameters, you'll see that it's actually dynamically loaded the new item into my list. So it's a little bit unintuitive because as an author, to see this change, you've actually got to close and open the workbook again. But for the typical user on Tableau server or on Tableau online, that happens every time they open the visualization. And so what happens there is the workbook dynamically loads this new list from an updated data source. And so now your parameter can actually add in new values dynamically as your data source updates. If you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe. If not, drop us a comment. Let me know the kind of content you'd like to see in the future.